When I was raising my kid sister, Christine, I needed all the help I could get. And two of the things I relied on the most were common sense and astrology. Well, I know that's not very scientific, but I'm an astrology nut. I can't help myself. And generally, it didn't make Christine or Roger too happy. Chrissy? Chris? What is it? Chris, I looked up your horoscope, and I want to read it to you. It's very interesting. Oh, are you still on that astrology kick? Don't knock it. It's all true. I don't believe anything you read in those astrology charts. You don't believe anything you read unless it's a menu. He's starting again. Don't pick on her, Roger. I'm not picking on her. I envy her. No, I really do. You know, she doesn't have to worry about brushing after meals like we do. For her, there is no after meal. <laughs> Listen, where's my great tie? I'm late for that meeting. It's on your dressing table. Okay, thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you want to hear Chrissy's horoscope? It's very interesting. Honey, I can't have time for that nonsense. No, I, I don't want to take any time. Now, her sign is Leo the lion. You're wrong you... already. Her sign is Porky the pig. <laughs> Show her, Chris. Put the apple in your mouth. <laughs> I just don't pay any attention to him. Now, your horoscope says that you're going to... Oh, have... Carol, I don't believe in astrology. Listen, Christine, it all comes true. Believe you me. I had my horoscope done three years ago, and, and they told me that within one week, I was going to meet a tall, dark, handsome fella, and exactly, I mean exactly, one week later, I met Roger. The other guy didn't show up, huh? I heard that, Porky. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Later, Carol, I'm going bowling. Oh, wait a minute, let me see. Your moon is in Gemini. You have the presence of Jupiter in your sun sign, and Scorpio is rising. What does that mean? It means do the dishes before you leave. <laughs> At about 10.30, sweetheart. Okay. Oh, Roger, Perfect. honey, let me read you your horoscope before you leave. Honey, leave me alone. This is an important meeting. Well, don't you want to know where your sun and moon are? I already know. I've got the sun in the morning and the moon at night. Yeah. See you later. Are you crazy? I have to. I'm not gonna let you go, Roger. Will you, you leave can't me go alone out tonight. Honey, this is an important Roger, meeting. No, please, you can't go. Why not? Give me one sensible reason. I'll tell you why. Oh, I'll show you why. It's right here in the book. See, uh, your sun and your moon indicate danger tonight. You're a Virgo, and the signs say it's dangerous for a Virgo to go out tonight. Look. Oh. <laughs> Check those charts. You see, it's dangerous for me all the time. Why? <laughs> First rule of astrology, a Virgo should never marry a weirdo. <laughs> Roger, if you go out, I'll worry myself sick. You are sick. Maybe you'll worry yourself well. Roger, I can't let you I, I have to go, honey. This is a meme. I'm not I won't have the accident. I just saw stars. Then why take chances? I won't take chances. Listen, I don't believe in astrology. I don't believe in moons and charts and planets. Roger, Goodbye. I'm not asking you to believe. I'm just asking you not to go out tonight. Carol, please. <laughs> Look, I'm getting out of here. I'm going, and I don't want to hear any more about it, Carol. Roger, you're not leaving. I'm leaving. You are not leaving. You I are not. <laughs> At least out there I have a chance. Roger, please, you can't go. Don't you understand? Your sun is in Aquarius and your moon is in Taurus, and that can only mean one thing. You're going to have an accident. <laughs> I'm getting angry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm getting angry. Now I'm going out. You're I'm not going, going out. If you won't leave me out the front door, I'm going to go out the back door. Roger, Good night! No, no.